So what's up, though? I'm finally back though today. Got a really, really, really quick um duck about video I want to do. Though. Really quick, um, we got some pretty good upcoming news for JP right now. So yeah, they are getting UI Goku, which honestly don't make sense because it's been like what three weeks I think since Opa got UI Goku. Um, so yeah, we're getting the STR UI Goku for um JP. Um, which is good. I mean, it, we all speculated it anyway. Everybody, their mom did. It was way obvious because Capital and stuff like that makes sense. I. I, I think Truth really speculated more. Um, who else did? I think, I, just, I think just him and Koresh do all, like, all those different YouTubers, like, all speculated this. It didn't make sense because, you know, Capflow timeline and stuff like that. It make, makes sense because, I think, no, because last year LR Broly came out in July, like a month later, around this time-ish. Because the, um, I think LR Gohan and Goten, the tech one, were also, for the Death Pass LR, they were teased in B-Jump. So, and it came in Broly, they were both teased in B-Jump. So, um, yeah, again, it makes sense why he's here because, of course, it didn't, didn't really take that long. Uh, also, we did get the easy details for the um, Berserker Tail and, of course, um, Agio Khalifa. Um, they are they are traditional easy unit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over that really quick though. Um, but yeah, again, the super simple stuff like that. Um, but yeah, actually, that really quick. Ooh, I gotta search on that next. Yeah, let's get started. But yeah, um, again, it makes sense why he's coming to JP early because they, they really teased it in the Dokkafest event. And plus, um, again, they just like gave so many like clues just that. But they can kill the Dokkafest event. Um, all UI Goku do more damage against her. It makes sense as UI Goku, like, you know, you know, a week later JP gets LR, you know, and stuff like that. And again, the Goba teased that all on their Twitter as well. But yeah, um, again, though, super simple makes sense and stuff like that, of course. We did get all the Twitter info and stuff like that. Again, though, he's, again, he's just a dodging unit. He does a lot of damage. Like, he hit, I want to say, 4 million, 5 million attacks that. That's how high it's I got him. He can hit harder than that. Plus, again, though, he does, he's going to be just dodging a lot. He can't keep his SSR, TUR, and LR. We'll go over that really quick, though, again. Um, but yeah, though, um, yeah, it's super simple stuff like that. It doesn't, I mean, again, the more, you know, I think he has to get hit first in order to, um, you know, um, for him to get his full pass and stuff like that. So, yeah, for order for him to dodge more, we have to, um, again, though, um, get him hit. But, again, you know, he's going to be dodging a lot. I think, I think there's kind of a limit for him to dodge, but, again, you know, he's going to be dodging a lot. He, again, you know, he's basically built for the legendary Goku, right? But the last HP Y Goku can get difficult, so, um, he, he's still going to do better there, but he's not going to be dodging because he can't, like, because yeah, I don't know the int UI Goku for um legendary Goku event, he does not um I'm trying to think of it. He does like he disabled dodge, so he can't like dodge or anything like that. So yeah. I'm gonna get super makes sense why he's here and stuff like that, but of course we have an SA and his SA let me see go over here. His SA animations and stuff like that, of course. Like I always usually go over it. Um I think I did it for Global as well. Um because again, I might just post them like this. I mean, essentially it's the same thing, just still translating and stuff like that. I probably don't need to do it, but I'll probably end up doing it anyway, because you know. And, you know, there's almost just stuff that's been going on for me. The Miles Morales um, teaser for um Blue Spider Man PS5 game. That I'm, I was hyped for that. I did I, that video was super quick. Um, sorry I didn't mean to show, I didn't I actually meant to show my face in that video, but um yeah, I get a little stuff like that happened. Like I think it was just super hot in my house at that time. Um, it's just it was crazy. So yeah, um we got you know SA animations and stuff like that. Like I always tend to do. Um yeah, these animations are really good though. Like I just like again they're like yeah probably some of the best animations in the game. Plus, I like Gogeta and Vegito, and I want to say STR Cooper. Um, but yeah, again, though, um, super simple stuff like that, of course. I like, or always like going, going over and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll probably end up posting, because I do post for both Gogeta and JP sometimes. Like, sometimes I just get super lazy now. I'm posting SA animations. I really need to get back on that. Um, because I, I actually did do a video for the overall anniversary for the five year um, anniversary for JP. I need to post that video, because I know Gogeta's going to get their um, anniversary, five year anniversary soon. But yeah, and of course, um, we had the Amiti um, info for, of course, the AGL um, Khalifa and the Berserk Kale, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa and Kale. I mean, Kale, I think the problem with Khalifa, though, she's a great unit, though. She didn't, they didn't really need to change that much for her. She dodged and stuff like that. I feel like she's more, more of a tank unit and a dodge unit. Again, though, I, feel, I don't feel like, personally, they changed that much for her. But I heard she's a really good destructive unit, though, in my opinion. I heard she was really good. So we still should. Let me just a little bit. Um, we probably will see a little bit more, like, not that much for her, but I heard that they're, they're easy as a disgusting girl. I haven't seen them myself, but yeah. Uh, I don't guess, I don't guess it says Kale run away. <laughs> like Kale run away. <laughs> like run away from her because to yeah, me she was good. I mean she again though she just came up early as it is. But um yeah though, um I feel like they they, they really did do a lot because she's like I say from here, they did a lot. Yeah, for this goes probably simple and stuff like that. Um also I wanna mention though this as well. No one really talked about this though, but the part two for the um Kel and Khalifa campaign is here though. I mean, no one really talked about it because there's, there's nothing really in here for part two. It's only just login bonus, special missions, a new limit breaking event. Um, probably, you know, UI Goku and stuff like that. A lot of people were saying that, you know, or he's, he, you know, I think it's, I think it's just really here for the announcement for them. Um, um Kel and Khalifa, you know, there's, there's, like, there's like four things here and that's really it. Login bonus and this stuff is always here, but these two, 
I feel like it could be, uh, again, though, this happens at the same time this happens, so... I feel like those probably just gonna be like, you know, they're, oh yeah, they're an easier for being announced. But yeah, the new limit breaking event is coming, so yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but you know, more harder, difficult, thing, blah, blah, I don't even know anymore. I don't kind of that, but um, yeah. It's not too much, but it's a little bit. Um, this would be pretty cool. Um, I just realized that was like, way too bright. Um, of course, we have the Kale, of course, I mean, Khalifa, of course, and the Kale. Resort Kale, of course, they did get their EZA announcements. So, yeah, let's go over them real quick. So, yeah, so he does um, all types, keep us to uh, eight, keep us three, everything up 80%. I think Kale's the same thing. Oh, no, she's physical type. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, I had to make sure of that. Yeah, she's all types, um, key three, everything up 80%. Simple stuff like that. You gotta really bother. Speed damage raises, de uh, raises defense by 60% for three turns. Disgustingly good. She's gonna be a just amazing tank. Did she go before? Okay, yeah, just a quick change. So, yeah, um, attack was 120 and defense plus 60%. High chance of evading enemies' attacks. Killing super attacks, medium chance of evading enemies' super attacks. If it, yeah, counters with tremendous power. Effective against all attacks, um, attack defensive against all types. What if, if, kill, um, this, if there's Alan and Kill inside at the same turn. So, yeah, she's disgustingly broken. Yeah, see, oh, uh, okay, they made her really insane. Like, you know, she's a traditional easy unit, so she's gonna get a say 15, um, 120, all that stuff. But she's, again, she should be around for more hours, but she's insane. Um, again, attack defensive against all types, simple stuff. I mean, they've been doing it for a lot of years nowadays, so which is good. Um, her account, like, again, though, they didn't change too much from her original design. Again, though, they did change a little bit, though. I mean, again, though, uh, we, again, though, we all speculated it was going to be nothing different. She still dodges, she still really do a lot of a good attack. She's going to be probably one of the best tanks in the game because her raising her, like, her defense. Raising her defense and raising her defense on passive and super attack is going to be good. Um, all her links are going to be good with the Kale. So, yeah, basically, yeah, that's Kale. Again, you're going to make a whole Kale group at the end of this point, so. Um, you know, four base from Kale's Khalif was, so you can easily run, I guess she can give attack effective against all types, automatically all the time, if there's a Kale or, you know, it was a Kale and Khalifa team, so. Again, though, super simple, straight to the point, which I'm glad, though. So, yeah, she's insane. She's dis disgustingly really insane, though, but, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so for Kale, let me see. So, yeah, she does attack plus 160, which she was, again, she was already discussing before. Yeah, so she does physical, um, key three. 100% um, all stats, which is good. Um, immense damage, lowers, um, great lowers defense, nothing really special there. So attack plus 160 and less additional attack when there's a um, high chance of coming super attack. Reduce damage by 60% for 6 turns at the start of the turn. Reduce damage by 60% um, with 6 or more physical key orbs from the 7th turn from the start of battle. Okay, yeah, they just got disgusting. Like, they probably are some of the best easy in the game because... They really did not hold back on these guys. You know, for like this last few weeks have been not crazy for just again those insane this for I'm um, joking though. But yeah. Um again they're gonna be good beside each other. Kill I mean Khalifa again those gonna be more defensive, um juggernaut, you know, if attack effective attack effective against all types and she can be good if there's if there's a kill on the team. Again though she made for a whole kill if you make a whole kill and the team, you're gonna be good for that. If you don't then um, again though, but put, make that tournament power around it. I mean there's a lot of I mean the free play used to their awakenings, but you can't yeah, you can't use her because same name. And there's STR free play Kale, Super Saiyan 2. You can't use her, so yeah, I mean you can use free play Kale. There's like two different free play Kales, one from World Tournament. A job people probably won't have. There's a free play one that just got her awakening. Um I guess there's a lot of like just Kales and Khalifa in the game. Everybody should I mean just free and stuff like that. So yeah. You know, she made for a whole um you know Kale team and stuff like that. Basically, you know, always supporting her and stuff like that. So yeah. Um but yeah, again though, she's made for a whole Kill and Khalifa team. Um, again though, she didn't, didn't change that much about her. She does, she still dodges. She's gonna be so tanky on. She did a four. She's gonna be doing a lot of attack, and she's gonna be insane. Um, and Kale though, she's um just, just basically reducing damage, and doing a lot of damage herself. And basically, if you get her like a whole bunch of physical orbs and stuff like that, again though, she's basically a nuke her, bringing back nuking again in the game. Woohoo! But yeah, um, again though, uh, she's basically just good though for um, really though um. Yeah, she's just she's gonna be just reducing damage a lot, and she's gonna just be doing um yeah it, it, she just is gonna be reducing damage. And she's gonna be doing a lot of damage if you get phys more physical orbs with her, and she's gonna be doing a lot of additional. I mean, for me though personally, she does a lot of additional super attacks. So I'm gonna say probably go full crit for her if you want to, because again, you know, she's gonna be doing a lot of damage anyway. So um yeah, and she does have immense damage though. So by the time when she, when she first came out, it was insane for her, because I think she was like probably one of the first units to have immense damage without being a fest unit. But yeah, again, though, really good though. So yeah, um, of course you are Goku. Um, I just want to go over him really quick though and stuff like that. And you know, super simple stuff for him though. Um, again, he's just a dodging juggernaut. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage. The more dodges you do, the more um, attack, he's, the more he gets hit, the more you know damage stuff like that you're gonna do, and the more dodges you're gonna get. So yeah, that's basically the gimmick for him. Again, though, you can't keep his SSR, TUR, and LR, of course, and you know with the new whole new um you know, about gods you know revamp, especially on global right now. If you don't if you have your Goku right now, you can easily farm out his super attack. 
with a new god Goku. Um, you know, Battle of Gods is um, for a very bit, so it's good. I guess this is a previous banner though, but um, Sandy Hero Global JP, they never really, they do change some of these. I know Global was for Dragon Ball Super. I think it was um, Ella Broly, the tech Ella Broly. His banner, he had 10 feature units, but I think JP had like 12. It was like, it was like, I mean, yeah, those two extra units can be big. It's like having eight, it's equivalent of having eight double fetch units on one banner because, um, you know, you can be pulling, you know, like 500 Kaki Blue Goku before you, Kaki Blue Goku before you pull, I don't know, LR Vegito Blue. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, I mean, for, um, anniversaries though, you do get a lot of good stuff out of, out of, out of those units and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, um, again, that's all I really want to go through today. Again, though, I know I didn't seem as hype as I did, but yeah, you know, I'm hype! That's hype. But yeah, um, yeah, you know, the banner shouldn't probably change that much for JP and Global. You know, these guys just got their awakening, so they're just insane on JP. Um, that's the one advantage it has over Global. Again, the Pergamo having his awakening on JP is insane. Um, again, the JP banner is probably a little bit, yeah, because again, it has way more value because he's like all these guys are good. Um, she got replaced. Dispo's okay. Dis 18 still good. Dis 17, but um, Tobo's still good. Though. He's a good, good support that unit. Pergamo's good. Chopper's good. All these guys are bother. But yeah, um, you know, I don't see the banner changing that much on JP or Global. It should come out, again, you know, around the same time Kill and Cleaver come out. So, yeah. Um, you got Goku, him coming to JP. No surprise, though, and stuff like that. Again, he's a really insane good unit. Um, I probably don't recommend something for him, though. I say wait for him, like, on tickets, coins, whatever you want to do. It's going to be a well while before yellow coins, but... Hey, that's why I said don't really summon the yellow coin banners because they're really not worth it in the long run. But yeah, again, you can't keep the SSR, TUR, and LR, so again, though, know, dodging, insanely, juggernaut unit, though. But yeah, all we're going to go through today, um, the Kale and Cliff Awakenings are good. Again, though, Kale is just, um, reducing damage a lot, and she's, again, the more physical orbs you get with her, the more damage she's going to be doing and stuff like that. Um, not damage, she's going to be, she's going to be reducing damage, the more, you know, keys first and stuff like that you get for her. And she's going to be doing a lot of additional super attacks for you. So, yeah, I say go full crit for her. She's going to be insane. But again, she gets a lot of additional super attacks. So, sometimes she got three or four for me a lot. So, she's good on that part. She's really is good, though. Disgustingly good. Uh, probably some of the best easy games in the game. Yeah, she, they definitely do put on the top five. I want to say easy eight spot. Maybe. I got to see him a little bit more. But, yeah. Um, and, you know, she's in, like, they're insane. I'm not joking. Like, they really are insane, though. Know? Again, you know, Kel's going to be reducing the damage a lot. Getting a lot of additional super attacks, especially if you get full crits for her. She's gonna be doing a lot of insane damage with her events modifier. And for and for Kel, of course, and Khalifa, of course, um She's gonna be doing a lot of damage as well. She's gonna be and she may be a defensive unit though, but she's still gonna do a lot of damage in the long run. And again, she can be dodging if you have a kill only team. Again, though, don't wait for all kill and Khalifa teams. Yeah, this universe update has been insane the last few days. But yeah. Um again, that's all we want to go through today. Again, though, um, we got some easy awakenings. We got the UI Goku coming to um global JP and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, there's super simple stuff like that, of course, but, um, yeah, though, we got lots of new, um, updates for Universe X stuff, uh, stuff, but, like, yeah, um, yeah, just, again, a lot of just craziness going on right now for JP, so, yeah, I'm going to end the video here before I stall out a little bit longer, so, yeah, um, just craziness right now, so, yeah, um, you know, all these users and stuff like that, just, I, I don't know, it's just it's insane right now, it's good, JP's going down the route, but, um, yeah, all right, welcome to Go Rudo today again, though. See ya. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good joke. Again, though. See you guys later, though. Again, though. Peace out.